Hello. Today we're going to read with Calypso the cat and maybe a little bit of Ari. And there's Calypso. Whoa, she's doing a big stretch. And Ari's going to get on the book. We're going to read The Cat from Hunger Mountain, written by Ed Young. Hi, Calypso. Once on Hunger Mountain, there lived a wealthy lord who had everything imaginable, yet never had enough. The strongest workers built him the tallest pagoda. He lived there high above everyone. Oh, we have a lot of friends today. <laughs> the finest tailor made his clothing from spun silk and threads of gold. Hunters gifted him with rare meats, and skilled chefs prepared lavish meals with rice from the Lord's own fields. When Lord Cat's servants asked if their master had finished his meal, they were scolded. Are you blind? Can't you see the bowl is half empty? Take it away! Hunger Mountain was famed for its delicious rice, which grew in patties tended by servants. More servants would then wash the rice grains in the rapid waters of the Great River. Lord Cat stood watch from his pagoda and yelled, Faster! There is more rice to harvest! Life continued in this fashion until the land was struck by drought. Weeks turned into months and months into a year without rain. The farmer's crops all failed, even the Lord's own rice fields. Villagers grew hungry. With his wealth, however, Lord Cat continued his lavish ways. The famine persisted a second year. Without food, the villagers all left the mountain and moved to the city where life was easier. Now the Lord's great wealth was useless. There was no one left to build tall pagodas or weave elegant clothing. There were no meats or rice to cook and no one to prepare them. Still, he refused to leave. What would life be without all of his possessions? Finally, starving, with no food to be found, Lord Cat closed his mountain home and went begging to all corners of his land. Yet no one was there to help. So he wandered alone, mile after mile. Eventually, he spotted two beggars like himself, warming themselves by a fire. They told him of a kind monk in a modest temple nearby who gave free food to the hungry. They offered to show him where. They left early the next morning and on arrival they saw a line of hungry souls all waiting to be fed. Lord Cat's turn finally came. The monk scooped a spoonful of steaming rice into his bowl, filling it halfway. It was the fullest bowl of rice he could remember having eaten. I must ask you, he said to the monk, how have you managed to come across such a fine grain in such difficult times? The monk heaved a sigh and said, I am so fortunate to live at the bottom of Hunger Mountain, where for years a rich lord would wash his rice carelessly in the great river. The wasted grains trickled down to my stream, where I collected and stored them over the years. And now I have more than I could eat in a thousand days, so I am happy to share with all in need.
Lord Cat looked at the now empty bowl in his hands. He realized he had been fed with his own wasted food. And for the first time ever, he knew what it felt like to be truly blessed. To this day, if you enter this temple in the foothills of Hunger Mountain, you'll find an urn in the shape of a cat. From it, you can take out a tab with an inscription that reads, Only I know what's enough. The end. And now we're going to say goodbye to Ari because Calypso left earlier. Bye, Ari. Mwah.